Hello there and welcome to episode 3 of You Are The Ref, You Make The Call. As always, I am Ant from the Referee Forum. Before we go any further, a massive congratulations to the winner of our last competition. It was Phil who correctly guessed that the stadium behind me was Villa Park. Your prize for that is a Fox 40 whistle with the old cushion mouth guard. Crazy thing is, anyone in the world could have won that. The bloke who did lives literally 10 minutes down the road. I could drive it to his house, really. I won't. It's a bit stalkerish. I will post it. You know, Royal Mail. As usual, you'll see a series of clips. The first one is a bit of a funny one. Uh, funny for me, anyway. Uh, and the other three are incidents from football matches, which we'll have a little chat about. So a few days ago, the CEO of Ref Support UK, Martin Cassidy, tagged me on Facebook and said, check this out. It was it just plugging one of the videos. Um, and he said, and I met him in around 2010. And I thought, nah, it's gotta be longer ago than 2010. So I did a little bit of digging and I found the opening match of the 2007 Easter Open Youth Football Tournament. And who was the referee? That's right, Martin Cassidy. So let's have a little look. Well, you join us now for a special exhibition football match made up of the managers of the youth teams here at the Easter Open. This is the Holland INAS football team. And focusing now on the man in the middle between these two teams, Mr. Martin Cassidy from England. Uh, he's applying his trade somewhere down south now, but originally from Liverpool, and everyone knows him as Scouse. And here you can see him moving at almost full speed. I think he's about to turn on the afterburners. A big thumbs up for the camera. Here he comes. And there he is. He's hit top speed. That's fantastic. Absolutely fantastic to see. An excellent pointing to finish off. So there you go. And that, incidentally, I think was the last time I saw him sober for the rest of that tournament. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, so let's now get on to the, the proper clips. This first one is from uh, an under 10s football match. I'm assuming it's in uh, the USA, but it could be Canada, it could be anywhere like that. And the referee is clearly having grief uh, from the sideline, from, from the sounds of it. Uh, the, the spectator has been making sarcastic remarks all the way through the game. Let's see how she deals with him. There we go. <clears throat> You need to act like a parent, okay? I said it was a good no, you're being sarcastic. You need to act like a parent, okay? Because Rep all these other parents aren't doing it. It is a regular game. Rep it's a U10 game. game. Thank you, okay? Rep. Because I will send you right off. I'm if your team it. is doing a good job, all the boys are doing a good job. You're the only one going at it, and you are a parent. I'm leaving so you need to act minutes. like a parent. Thank you. You need to go now. Bye. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Water break. Bring it in, guys. Bring it in. You're horrible. Really, you're the first one that's ever taken that in ten years. So. Well, then you should be evaluated. Go ahead. Would you like to evaluate me? Be effect, my guest. The if you're going to keep on talking, you can keep talking walking that way because I don't even hear you. I already heard you say that. I'm sorry. Guess what? I don't, I'm not like that. So you can leave. Well, you're wobbling your head up. Because um, you're actually getting on my nerves. So you can leave. I can tell you sound like you're going to cry. No. You're not going to make me cry. Don't let him get I'm cold. sorry I'm that a parent to. your age can act this way towards a young lady for one and someone who's officiating your son. Listen. Ladies got nothing to do with it. Call the game, call a good game. I have been calling a good game. No, I've not. never had a good game. Well, you have one now, so well, you can put that on your record sure book. On my you list. should, because I'm going. Relax, girl. Excuse me? Relax. And what girl. did you call me? Um, someone didn't raise you right. See ya. Okay. Sorry, dude. Here's your juice. Here's your juice. Right. I'm leaving. Okay, but your comments keep going. So do yours. My day. That's Ref fine. the game. I'm Be professional. Game. You're not doing the game. Go ahead. Go ahead. Keep waving your arms. Okay, keep going. Keep going. You told me to keep going. Keep okay, going. girl. That's fine. It makes you feel better. Keep going. Now, for me, she has dealt with that individual. I mean, remove all aspects of football from it. She's dealt with that, that just brilliantly. Like really, really brilliantly. The only thing I would say she could have done better, as soon as he started packing up his stuff to leave, back off. Get yourself to the centre circle, give yourself plenty of room. He's gonna go, he's gonna make those snidey little remarks to all his people on his sideline. But uh, it ultimately, he's on his way. You've done your job. So, apart from that, 
what an incredible young woman uh, and an incredible young referee to, to have dealt with her like that. If anyone knows who she is, uh, put her in touch. I'd love to get like a statement just to just to get her, her side of things and see if she's still refereeing because that clip is about six, seven, eight years uh, old now. So let's see what she's still up to. Okay, second clip here. Watch it. Is the referee right in law to do this? Let's see the clip. Значит, позицию правозащитника, да, олейник уйдет, да, и центральную зону. Ну, в принципе, может быть, есть логика в этом, для того, чтобы где-то за счет Кулакова, который будет подключаться из глубины, опа, замедлил. Червона карта Инкубу. За то, что снял футболку, да. So as you can see, the player being substituted was already carrying a yellow card. In the process of being substituted, he's removed the shirt. The referee in this instance, I think, has deemed this as an act of unsporting behavior. And so he's shown him a second yellow card and sent him off, obviously nullifying the substitution. But what do you think? Is that right in law? Should the referee have done this? Leave your answers down in the comments. Let's have a proper debate. This next clip is a classic. Maybe not that you've seen it before, but definitely if you're an experienced referee, you'll have seen something like it. It's the age old, you've got an uh, overexcited spectator on the pitch who just won't leave. He's having a great time and the stewards are probably having a cup of Bovril or something. And then, well, let's watch the clip and I'll catch you on the other side. <laughs> feel right the, the player was just sorting out a problem but the right thing to do here is to send that player off issue the red card for violent conduct and if you're a ref in that situation you're gonna feel like an absolute dick for doing it but you are in the right it is violent conduct do you agree would you do something else if you were doing a game like this and there was an assessor watching or an observer you'd do it to the letter of the law but say there wasn't Right? Say it was just you and 22 players plus subs, whatever, Sunday League, and this happened. What would you do? Would you do it by the letter of the law, or would you let it slide? As always, thank you very much for watching. Those of you that comment, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Absolutely massive respect to you. Thank you very much for that. Um, episode 4 will be out in the next few days or so. And if you've got any clips that you want to see discussed, send them my way and I'll pop them in the next video. And don't forget, if you do think that you know what this stadium is behind me, leave your answers in the comments of the YouTube video below. I share this video all over the place, but I'm only going to check the answers in the YouTube comments. If you want to win that whistle, that's where you need to leave your answer. So, thanks very much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.